So today we are going to be um, doing an exciting video. We are going to be showing you how to make your own big shampoo from Lush. Uh, this is just a DIY that we do and actually use. So we're just gonna tell you the products that we use, that you'll need. Okay. So first thing you'll need is coarse. Wait, is it coarse? Yeah, it says coarse. Okay, coarse sea salt. You can get all natural. I think this one was the cheapest. That's why I got it. It's important to have coarse though. Like okay, if you, you have... don't want the finely milled, <laughs> don't want the fine stuff because you want it coarse because that is what they use in the actual big shampoo because that's what's gonna exfoliate, exfoliate. your scalp. So with this. Just make sure you have coarse sea salt. That's one. It's really cheap. It's probably like two dollars and under. So there's that. Next thing you'll need is lemon juice. This is like a huge tub. Just any 100% lemon juice. This is just just lemon juice. So you only need a little bit of this so you don't need this huge jug but we make so much of this that we need the big the big jug. So just 100% pure lemon juice. That so, is also very inexpensive. Yes. Probably like I think that was like four dollars. Probably cheap. Jug. Probably cheaper than what you can buy the actual. Oh yeah, this is definitely for. cheaper. Um, um, last product or last need, thing that you need. Last thing you need is just any shampoo. This is the Herbal Essences. Um, just because I had this at my house. Sometimes I use like my Paul Mitchell shampoo or like an Aveda shampoo. It doesn't matter. Like any shampoo, your favorite favorite smelling one. This is just what, what we're gonna be using today. This is the D Damage Boost swirls shampoo <laughs> so okay so to recap you need sea salt lemon juice make sure you have coarse sea salt lemon regular juice. lemon juice any shampoo any shampoo a bowl either a spoon or a fork to mix it with would, i thought it would fit on my head but it didn't. that's a small bowl that's not gonna fit yeah on your head. yeah and something to put it in afterwards this is just a small little cute mason jar that I got from like, I don't know, I think I Target. Target, so. That is what you need, and. So, let's get started. Okay, to start off, we have a small bowl, and then we're just gonna take our sea salt, and just, well, I'm dumping the rest of it in, because mine's almost out. But you can make however much you want, that's the beauty of this. Um, and another good thing about making it yourself is you can make it as thick if you want. So if you've ever tried the big shampoo, it is a little liquidy, so if you want it thicker, you can make it thicker. If you want it thinner, then you can make it thinner. So we have our salt, and then for the lemon juice, I just use one teaspoon, but I really just put that much in. <laughs> it's probably a lot more. It, it doesn't like make that much of a difference, but the recipe calls for one teaspoon. And then last, you're just going to take your shampoo and put, you want to make this more thick at first because if you make it too thin then you have to add more salt and I don't have any more salt so and then you're just gonna that's what it should look like right now and then just stir it together so this is what your texture should look like after you have mixed it all together poop likes hers a little thicker so that's what we're gonna stick with with this and then all you have to do is just put it in your jar and use it and that's it. So this is the finished project, project, product. I know we didn't have very much because we didn't have very much salt, but this is what it looks like. This will last us like a few weeks because we only wash our hair with shampoo once a week because we have curly hair. But this is what it should look like. And as you can see, when it's in the jar, it looks very pretty. So that's why we do that. So that was the DIY. It's easy and you can customize it to whatever your hair is. Um, a couple pointers. We only use this once or twice a week to just exfoliate the scalp and the point of this shampoo is it's a very clarifying shampoo so this is the type of shampoo that's gonna get all the crap out of your hair it's gonna cleanse your hair yeah it's gonna really clarify and cleanse your hair and it'll leave it feeling very clean it does not lather up that well but neither does the regular like the real big shampoo so that's one thing if you like a really bubbly lathery shampoo then this is not the one for you we like this because it exfoliates the scalp and it gets all the dead skin off if you have a dry scalp. If you have a super, super dry scalp, you could drop a few drops of oil yeah. in, the, um, in the mixture if you wanted to. Like Moroccan oil, argan oil, coconut oil, anything you want. 
Um, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in our next video. So this... This is in focus. Mm -hmm. I just said dumb. Oh uh, God. I <laughs> did. Is a tablespoon bigger or a teaspoon? Okay. <laughs> it matches the bowl, like perfect. And I didn't get a mixer. <laughs> I eyeballed that pretty good. Looks like the ceiling's gonna break right there. It might. It might. We're sitting in the right spot to get hit with them. Oh yeah. Your, na your nail tips just got into the shot. <laughs>